fan out in the surf. Um, you watch the past couple videos. Uh, you know, I've been fishing out here on the surf. Been looking for that big fish. Been doing really well on numbers, but haven't been able to find that one big one yet. So today, we're gonna seek a weapon. I posted on Instagram a couple days ago and had you guys guess what you think it is. We had a lot of good guesses. No one got it right, but uh, it's time to open her up. So, you're gonna have to cut me some slack. First unboxing on the channel. So, apologize if I'm doing this wrong. But you guys can leave me some comments in this below to see. Give me some advice for next time. So anyway, take out the packaging here. Oh yeah, here we go. So this, secret weapon right here. Today, we're gonna throw this all day. It's been a lure that I've wanted to try out the surf for a long time. I've heard good things about it, but I never pulled the trigger until today, so. We're leaving the sand crab, sand crab rate, uh, net in the car, and uh, we're gonna be sticking with this guy all day today. So let's take this out of the package. That looks like a juicy swim, or a juicy lure right there. Nice sharp hooks. Everything looks good about this thing. So we're gonna tie this on this morning. We only have a couple hours of fish, but we're sticking with this guy all day today. It's very possible that we don't catch anything, but we gotta try it. All right, so I'll just show you quickly with the setup that I got here. So what we got. 30 pound braid to a swivel there and you need the swivel to prevent line twist so this will prevent that and then 20 pound mono is about a three foot leader straight to our bait there and hopefully this is going to catch us a monster all right first cast with the lucky craft flash minnow and for a small lure, it actually casts pretty good. Let's see what it looks like in the water. It looks pretty nice. So first impressions of this thing, are pretty good. Hopefully it catches a fish. All right, last cast in this spot. Oh, there we go, fish on. Got him, first fish on this lure. Feels like a decent one. Yeah, not a bad fish. Still not the two pounder that we're looking for, but yeah, that's a good start. Our first fish, probably about a, a little bit over a pound. Not a bad fish to start on. We'll take it. I'm just about to leave this spot, but uh, I guess now I have to throw a few more casts here. See if there's any more laying in the waiting. There's another one. Man, I'm starting to like this lure here. Just pull a little drag. Feels like a little bit better fish, I'm hoping. You know it's a good fish when it's swimming sideways in the wave. weapon strikes again. Let's see what we got here. Feels like a decent fish. Way to take it down. And bring it up. Is that a perch? Oh, it's a little striper. 
Nice. First one of 2018. So these striper, for you new subscribers, these have to be eight, oh, 18 inches here in California in order to keep. This guy's gonna be a little bit short. It's probably about 16 inches or so. So yeah, like I was saying, these gotta be 18 inches in order to keep. This guy's gonna be a little bit short. Get him unhooked. All right, there's a second fish, a little striped bass, toss him back. There he goes. So all we're doing with this lure is we're casting out the slow and steady retrieve back. Uh, you want to make sure you can feel the action of that lure. Especially with this braid, little stretch, little to no stretch. You can really feel the action of that lure swimming back and forth in the, in the water. And uh, as long as you can feel the action of the lure, you know it's swimming well in the water. So. Not too much to it, just cast and slow retrieve. And uh, when they hit it, you know. I think the real key with this lure is you just gotta stick with it. You're not gonna catch a lot of fish, but the ones that you catch are gonna be good ones. There we go, there's another one. Wave, bring it up. Oh, solid fish, not big, probably about a pound. It's amazing how big a fish these, these little perch will attack. This one's almost right about half the size of the body. There's another one. I think they're getting smaller. There's bridge number three. Unfortunately, they're getting smaller. I'm trying to look for something a little bit bigger. I got a feeling that there's going to be a big one in here. Here's another one. Another decent fish. Took all three trebles in the mouth. This one's gonna be a doozy that time. There we go, there's fish number four. Perch number four. Plus that one striper would be number five. One thing that's interesting about this bait is when you first look at it, you think, I don't think a perch is gonna be able to eat this. Just judging by the fact that it's Pretty bulky lure. Kind of looks more like a striper lure. Don't discount the perch. Because obviously what you've seen earlier is even the small ones will attack this big bulky lure. And uh, if you're targeting big fish, I think this is the way to do so. Well guys, I didn't kind of worry. I thought this was going to be a big fish bait, but starting to catch some saw. I guess it's a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Spoke too soon. A decent one, probably about a pound. Just T-boned that lure there. There we go, there's fish number six, I think. Perch number five. Now we're starting to get somewhere. It's a little bit bigger. Well guys, it's gonna wrap it up for me out here. Just a quick trip this morning. Uh, all in all, I actually caught more fish than I was expecting to. Uh, we didn't get that two pounder that we were looking for, but I'll keep hunting for that guy. 
been a few trips now where I haven't been able to get that one big one, but I think this is the lure to do it. And uh, I was actually pretty surprised. I thought with this big of a lure, we weren't gonna catch any small ones, but we did actually catch a few that were about just a little bit bigger than the lure. So good stuff there. My first impression of this lure is that it's a pretty nice lure. I mean, it is $20, so I guess you get what you pay for. It's a pretty solid lure for the surf. And uh, oh, and I almost forgot, we almost caught our first striped bass of the year. But that's gonna wrap it up for me today. We will be back for that two pounder. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.